Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at cutting on the CNC with this bit. It's a little bit of an interesting bit. It's actually more of an engraver etching bit for uh, PCBs. However, watching Shane Bell's channel, he use, actually uses this bit to engrave, um, not engrave, actually cut sheet metal. So I'll see if I can get a little bit closer, you can see it. So it's basically a single flute, and it's got a very strong taper. One of the things I was interested because I am going to try the sheet metal, but I wanted to give a try of this um, polystyrene. This is um, some pretty interesting stuff to cut. And you might remember a while back I did a video on this, uh, cutting it with some two flute. So I'm wondering if using this to kind of score it and cut it might actually work better, because I still get a lot of throw out uh, in melting with it. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, try cutting out some parts. So let's take a peek and see what we come up with. Okay, welcome back from the time lapse. So we've cut out the pieces with the uh, with the bit. So again, I wanted to kind of show the bit. So one of the things that uh, I did notice is there is a bit, uh, pardon the pun. Um, however, you know, as it goes through, obviously it's going to cut this out. So there is about the same type of relief angle uh, cut on this. However, it is. Um, a pretty good cut. Now this one I cut a little bit fast. I cut a lot faster actually than the first one. Um, so this one this one came out far better but um, this was probably about four times the passes of this. This was actually cut in two passes where this took far more than two passes. I can't remember how many. Um, but I was using a plunger rate of 0.15 millimeters and that's actually probably too little. I'm going to increase the the plunge rate to uh, 0.25 or a quarter millimeter per per pass it can handle that easily on this material uh, because one of the things uh, with this uh, ABS material it, it, it it's kind of foamy if you will a little bit I don't know how to put it um, however this piece did really come out nice uh, this one I've got a little jaggedness with the cut but I think um, I don't know if you could see it at the end of the, the time lapse because of the two passes. It kind of, whoops, the bit kind of caught it and tossed it out. Um, so anyways, uh, again, I think you, I think the best setting is a little bit between the two. And you can kind of see I've got this one already set up while the other one was cutting. Um, it's to receive a, a, actually a worm drive DC motor for a camera slider, uh, which I'm working on for another video project. So anyways, this will mount in a piece of... Uh, 20 by 20 maker rail. So anyways, I'll put the link to this down below. I'll be doing some more with it. I am going to also cut sheet metal, but it's just that I kind of had a need to cut cut some of these out. And I figured, heck, why not give this a shot? And it, it, it did a pretty good job. I'm also going to try engraving some acrylic with this too and see how that comes out. So stay tuned. Uh, hopefully you liked this video. If you did, hey, please click the thumbs up button down below. Subscribe to the channel. A lot more of these videos coming. So we'll see you in the next one. And oh, I'll put the link to this down below. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.